Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome to your 23rd Svelte tutorial. This one is going to be on component composition and the usage of slots. Okay, so um, essentially what this is, is it allows you to um, insert your own HTML into a component. Um, and then of course you can sort of grab that information or that markup and then use it inside there. So it's going to be easier to explain through an example. So um, in today's video, we're going to be we're going to be creating a component which uh, represents a single post on, for example, some sort of social media site. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead now. Let's um, let's create uh, a component right here called post.svelte. And like I said, this is meant to be the component which represents a post for, like I said, some sort of social media site. So um, we can go ahead and we can create um, the actual... Uh, the main wrapper for this post. So we can make a new div right here with a class of post and then uh, we can go ahead and we can create a new um, a new div here called title. Okay, so this is where the title of the post is going to be. Okay, so now of course if I was to uh, save this right here and if I was to, um, let's just add some sample data. So let's say uh, post title goes here, something like that. And we may as well also just do a bit of CSS in order to make this look decent. So we can uh, add a style right here and we can just say for the post container, we can add some padding of let's just do something like 15 PX and we can add also a box shadow of let's just do 0, 0, 10 PX RGBA, um, 0, 0, 0, then 0 0.25. So now uh, we can just target the title and we can just set something like a font size and we can just say, let's just do 2EM right there and let's also make the font weight bold. Okay, so now if I wanted to use this component within my app.svelte, I can quite simply import right here, uh, post, uh, post from and then post.svelte right there and then I can just simply uh, say down here, post just like that, okay? So now uh, saving this right here and going inside the browser, we're going to get something like this. Okay, so this is all working perfectly fine. But now, what if I want to customize the um, the contents of this post right here? Well, I could use props. So I could say right here something like uh, title is equal to. Then I can just say uh, Dom's uh, Dom's fantastic. Post. So something like that, and then of course I can leverage that um, that prop where I can basically just say something like this up the top. I can say export let um, export let title equal to post title goes here as the default, and then I can just reference that right down here, and I can say title. So this right here is going to work fine. So I can save this, go back inside here, and it works like that. So that works perfectly fine, but um, it doesn't allow us to be as flexible when it comes to what data we put inside. So it might actually be more helpful if we could write the HTML or the markup for the post title from within inside the app.svelte itself. Okay, so to achieve that, we're going to need to use um, slots. So let's go inside here. Actually, you know what? Let's first remove the title from here. And let's go back inside the post.svelte. We can also remove right up here the script and the title. And we can essentially go down here and remove this. So how do we allow essentially the app.svelte to pass in whatever they want into here? Okay, well, it's quite straightforward. We can make use of a slot. So let's put right down here, slot. Okay, so now this is basically saying we're allowing data or not data, but markup to go inside this position right here within title from this. Okay, so now if I was to expand this open, then put in Dom's fantastic post like that and then save this, it's going to grab this right here and put it inside here. So we can save this and go back inside here and we get Dom's fantastic post right there. Okay, so now you can actually put in whatever you want. So we can make this, for example, 
we can make it a span and say Dom's fantastic post. So it's going to be up to you how you want to structure the CSS and um, essentially, you know, uh, what what elements to use and things like that. But um, that is an option. Okay, and of course that's going to work perfectly fine. We actually get the span from within inside there. Okay, now what if we don't specify anything? So what if we go inside here and we actually do something like this where we don't provide any, uh, you know, contents? Well, in this case, of course, we're going to get nothing, but we can actually provide a default. So whatever you put inside the slot here, um, here, so we can say default post, for example, um, inside here, this is going to be the default content. So now saving this and going back inside the browser, we get default post right there. So basically, like I said, whatever you put inside here is going to be the default. Okay. Now, what if you have multiple, multiple different uh, parts of your of your components? Okay. So for a post, you're going to have a title, you're going to have a date where it was posted, and also a quick summary, maybe, of what the actual post is about. Okay. So to achieve that, we need to use um, named slots. Okay, so right here, for the for the title itself, what we can do is we can probably um, we can just name this slot right here by saying right inside here, slots. Then we can say name is equal to title. Okay, so now essentially inside app.svelte you can reference the slots by the name. So we may as well add in the default uh, title once again. So we can just say right here, um, let's just do a sample post title, something like that as the default. And now we can specify another one. So we can just make a copy of this div right here and we can say something like date posted as our class. Okay. We can just say date posted right here. Then we can say, you know, something like font size uh, 0.9 AM and a color of, let's just do some sort of gray. We can just do, uh, let's do triple sevens right there. Okay, so now um, we can name this slot date posted. Okay, so now we can just say, for example, let's just do um, unknown uh, posted date, something like that, okay? So now we can quite simply go back inside the app.svelte and now we can uh, specify from within inside here, we can specify something like this. So we can say span and we can say slot is equal to title. Okay, and now this right here is gonna be the contents for the title. So we can say Dom's fantastic post about Svelte, okay? And now we can say right down here for the actual, uh, you know, date posted, we can say span, uh, once again, saying uh, right inside here, slots equal to date posted. And then we can just say something like uh, Wednesday at 11.30 p.m. Okay, so now saving this and going inside the browser, we can see we get this right here. So we we're able to essentially transfer the contents of the spans right here into the designated slots by their name. As we can see, name and then name right there. So that is uh, that is component composition and slots in Svelte. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.